I am highly, highly affected by it, my environment. see the tiredness oozing from my face. Maybe not in this light because this light is like helping my life, but like, yeah, you can see it. I'm freaking exhausted. And, and not because I have a baby, but because I stayed up till God only knows what time finishing season two of Cheer. So that's, that's honestly, that's on me. I really need to get my life together. So two days ago, I had a massive migraine and when I have a migraine, the day is a complete wash. Like I have them for around like anywhere from like 15 to 24 hours. This last one was an 18 hour migraine. So long story short, I didn't do anything around the house. Obviously I was in pain and trying to take care of my baby girl. So I am gonna bring you along with me today as we organize, clean things up, get my life together because I am highly, highly affected by my environment. I know when they say like, when you have a baby, let things go, like it doesn't matter as much. And like, I get that and I bought into that. Like I get it, I really do. But my mental health, like it needs a clean home. I thrive in a clean atmosphere and not like psychotic, but like things need to be tidy, things need to be cleaned up. like. Knock me out like on the floor with like a toothbrush right now. That was in my nesting phase before I had her. But anyway, I need to clean things up. So let me just give you a little, a little tour of what I'm working with. And I'm obviously not gonna get to absolutely everything today. The normal, like me before I had a child is like, you've got this, you can literally do the entire house. Like you're good. And then the mom part of me now is like, <laughs> good luck, good freaking luck. So I plan to work as well as possible during her naps. First of all, I like to do like a clean sweep, and I mentioned this in my last vlog, but basically meaning I go room to room and just organize, clean up, and just like tidy things up, and then I can, if I have time, like I can deep clean things, but I'm gonna use that concept today, going from room to room, and then we'll just see how far I get today. So obviously I wanna like vacuum, I wanna dust, I want to clean out the supplement and spice drawer. I want to dust the bigger shelves or the higher shelves in the living room. I want to organize Sage's clothes and vacuum seal them and put some away because she's out of her newborn stuff now. It's so freaking sad. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get this done. I need to work efficiently during her naps. So let me give you a little tour of just what, what, what we're working with here. This baby dog got a bath yesterday. So she is nice and clean. So that's, that's always good, but I need to brush her again because so much hair in this house. So oh, here we are. I have so much laundry just, just everywhere. This is for a different project. You'll see that later, but I mean, what, like who, who am I? Like, this is not me. If you guys, like, ugh, I can't, I'm not gonna explain myself because it is what it is. It's messy. So this is all of this. Yeah, just need to put some dishes away, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go in here. The floors in here are ridiculous. Nala got a napkin and she likes to rip those up. So yeah, just need to tidy up in here. Need to do those shelves over there. So yeah, like it could be worse, but I just need to get my life together. This I'm going to be doing something with soon. So stay tuned for that vlog. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on like this part of the house that I just showed you. I'm not gonna worry about bathrooms and bedrooms at the moment. See, saying that, I'm just like, wait, I have to do those. But we'll see how much time I have because I've just been rambling and my baby's sleeping and I need to get things done while she's sleeping. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and make the cleaner. I don't buy cleaners, I like to make my own DIY. It's non-toxic, it's clean, it's safe for pets, babies, adults. I really don't have chemicals in my house 
it's just not cool we absorb all those things it is not good for your endocrine system which is your hormones and for many many reasons but we already have so much toxic load just living our lives so i if i can reduce that in my home that's what i'm gonna do so i'll show you what i throw together for like an all-purpose cleaner i'll use these on windows floors the bathroom all that kind of stuff literally never fails when filming it's it's literally always something okay you're going to need a glass water bottle we want to avoid plastic as much as possible then distilled white vinegar, some of the Dr. Bronner's pure soap. So I usually like to have an orange or like lavender scented soap of this brand, but I don't have any more. So I'm using this and this is actually what I use for the baby's laundry. It's a baby unscented soap, so it doesn't matter. A clean soap. And then an orange essential oil and a lemon essential oil. I like using those citrus smells while cleaning. I think the lemon especially actually helps like clean things better by like getting dirt up better. Like I'm like talking with my hands like this, but yeah, it's uh, a great combo. So let's go ahead and, and make this. And you guys, I am so bad about measuring things out. So you can always look this up on Pinterest <laughs> if you want exact proportions, but I'm just gonna kind of throw it together. All right, so I'll probably do, let's just say a few tablespoons of this soap or a fourth of a cup. I don't know, something like that. You just gotta do what just feels right, you know? That feels right. And then we'll do some vinegar. Probably not a whole lot of this, but let's see. Okay, that feels right. I don't know, like maybe 10 drops each of the essential oils. I don't know, guys, I don't know. It already smells so good. All right, and there you have it. so obsessed with this thing so it's from medify air shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video so this medify air purifier this is the ma25 so i mentioned how having non-toxic cleaning products is really important so this purifier just helps take things to the next level and just makes me feel so good that i have a non-toxic home this one's really convenient because it's small compact you could put it up on a table somewhere on the ground doesn't matter but it kills up to 99.9 .9 of harmful toxins which is incredible and it can clean a room up to 500 square feet in just 30 minutes which is nice because our house is smaller so as i'm cleaning today i'm just going to take this and just move it throughout the house and put it on a cycle of like an hour two hours or whatever so it's really nice because it does have a timer on it so you can set it to either one hour two hours four hours or eight hours 
Also has a child lock on it, which is really nice because I have a child now. And then there's three different speeds so you can decide how quickly you want to purify your room. And then there's a dimmer, as you can see, just for the top buttons on there. So like I said, it removes up to 99.9 .9 of harmful toxins, and that includes VOCs, pet hair, pet dander, odors, pollen, mold spores, dust mites, smoke, and certain bacteria and viruses, which is a really great thing to have right now. <laughs> Just in case there's anything that's trying to live in my house, any viruses, we don't want them. So I love all those things, but especially the pet hair and pet dander, because we have a golden retriever, and as you know, they shed like crazy, so there's constantly dust and hair everywhere that's why i have to clean all the time and then also as far as the mold spores go so last year at the beginning of my pregnancy we found that we had mold all in our crawl space which is not good on so many levels and we did get it handled get it fixed but i still feel like we still have some of that lingering in our air maybe going through the vents so having this just really allows me to rest assured that it's getting cleaned up and now that we have a baby just having clean air for her i was so stressed out during my pregnancy when i found out we had mold i was like this is not good but anyway i have this air purifier now so i feel really great about it if you guys want to check it out i'll leave all the information below you can get a discount using my code that's right here on the screen plantful alex 15. i also gave nala a bath yesterday and you know even if the dog is clean after a bath they still have that wet dog smell until they're like completely dry so nala went on our bed and i walk into our bedroom and i was like dang it it smells like just wet dog in here and i was like hmm, let me put my air purifier in there i put it in there for like 30 minutes i shut the door I walked back in, it did not smell like dog at all. And she was still wet and still there. I was like, this is, this actually works really well. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. So you guys should check it out. I'll leave all the information below for you. All right, I finished this entire room. I feel so good about it. Everything is nice and clean. Baby's crying on the monitor, so I need to go get her, but everything is done. So I feel pretty accomplished getting all that done in her first nap. Look who's awake. You see yourself? You wanna clean with mom? You look so cute. You wanna go clean with mom? Okay. Oh, no, okay. She's like, wait, no one told me I had to clean. Crazy hair. Can we handle her cuteness? Cause I don't, I can't. Dicky, 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 do. Dicky, 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 do. Dicky, 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 do. Next up is this drawer. So this is all of my herbs and spices, and then this is all supplements and stuff. So I need to take everything out, wipe it down, and reorganize it. follow Kristen Johns you may have seen this in one of her videos but I got this idea from her so to clean the sink out really really well let's grab some baking soda and go ahead and put it all in the sink and make sure you rinse out the sink first obviously and then I like to spray this little concoction I don't know if she did that or not um, this has essential oils in it that's why I'm doing that 
Um, and then, oh, my baby's crying. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll hurry. And then I like to take some essential oils. The lemon essential oil is my favorite and just kind of put that all in the sink and then let that sit for like, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something and then go through and I'll scrub it down and rinse it out and it's sparkling clean and it's actually really gross what comes off the sink, even if you think your sink is clean. So yeah, nice little kitchen hack for you. Now it is all sparkly clean and the kitchen smells so good. All right, I'm feeling so good about all this. Got everything nice and clean. Oh, I do need to start my diffuser. I will do that, but besides that, everything is nice and clean. Oh, it feels so good to have everything in order and cleaned up. Makes me so, so happy. So now I just have one last thing to do for this vlog, and that's gonna be to vacuum seal her newborn clothes. So let's go ahead and do that and wrap this up. Okay, last but not least, I have her newborn clothes in this tote that I need to put in these vacuum seal bags. And I just ordered these on Amazon, so I've never, I've never used these before. So, oh, it's actually really big. Um, I think I got, I got the jumbo. Look how big this is. It's very, very large. Dang it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do it anyway and put all her newborn stuff in here. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it anyway. I'm going to label it newborn, put it in there so I can see it from the outside. And then, and then I don't know. And then I think I'm done. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so this is everything, which I guess I had a lot. And a lot of the stuff was hand-me-downs, which was nice, but oh, this is all of all of her stuff. So let me go ahead and try and vacuum seal this and see if I can get it to work. Oh, and I also did newborn and zero to three months. And she does have some stuff that she still fits in that's zero to three, but I just threw in the stuff that I know doesn't fit, and then I can deal with the other stuff later. I have a lot of space up here still, so... What I'll do is probably just open this up and then add in the rest of her zero to three and then three month stuff and then three to six and whatever. And I can just, I don't know. When I get this stuff back out eventually, I'm gonna have to go through it all anyway. So I'll just look at the sizes then. Um, yeah. And I didn't even fold anything because I'm gonna get it out and rewash it all. So what's the point, you know? All right, that's gonna round up this clean with me, organize with me vlog. Thanks for coming along. And I feel better, I do. I feel like I have my life together just a little bit more. Whether I do or not, it feels like it. Thanks for watching. I feel bad. I'm leaving Nala out. I'm leaving her out. But make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss more videos to come. And we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.